I was, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I was laying in my bed one day. This was my first encounter with demons. I was laying in my bed, and this is an orchestrated encounter because God himself was teaching me one-on-one -on -one how to do spiritual warfare. I was laying on my bed, and all of a sudden, this male creature enters my house. I'm in my bedroom. I'm in a twilight sleep, but I know what's happening. It's very real. And I speak to the Lord and say something evil has just come in my house. I don't get, at this point, baby Christian saved one month. I have no clue the power that's in the name of Jesus. No clue at this point. But God wants me to know. So he orchestrates this whole scenario. He stages it. This demon comes into my house. See, demons can't do anything without God's permission. Remember that. Comes into my house. He works his way down the hallway. I know it. I feel it. I feel exactly where he is. He ends up in my bedroom. I am frozen, petrified with fear. Yeah. He ends up at the foot of my bed. He leaps up like the Spider-Man, lands on me. Hands, pinning my shoulders down. Legs, feet, whatever. Pinning my knees down. And I'm fighting this bad boy. I'm fighting. Get off of me. Get off of me, I said. Get off of me. I'm struggling. And I was a strong mamma jamma because I was very, very athletic. Mm -mm, wasn't working. Every time I struggled, I got weaker, 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 and weaker. Do you hear me? I'm going to tell you some stories because I want you to see how real this is. I couldn't fight him off. Now, I didn't have a door that opened anything up to it. It was an attack. He was trespassing. God knew it. I knew it. But I did not know what to do about it. It. And in the Bible, God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Churches teach spiritual warfare. Stop tiddlywinking with the word. This stuff is real. People die from it. Now, this is what happened. I'm in my bed. I can't move. The tears start coming now. Right? I'm pinned down, flat on my back. I'm at the point where I'm so weak. I can't even tell him to get off of me. I'm mumbling like a stroke victim. Get off of me. Now I'm thinking in my head, thank God for, uh, for knowing everything, all knowing. Excuse me. I'm thinking to God, well, he's got me. I guess I'm going to die. There's nothing more I can do. I don't have any weapons. I can't do a thing. He's overpowered me. Then I hear, I hate to say it like this because it's very, it sounds like a cliche. A still, small voice. And that still, small voice says, you have Jesus. Dum diddy dum dee, my pea brain, ignorant mind says in response, that's all I have. Mm -hmm. I'm laying there. I feel like I'm dying. Nothing more I can do. Can't say anything. Can't move, right? See, this is what I love about God. If you can't even articulate 
and you just make a sound, he knows what you're saying. So the best I could do at that point, it occurred to me to say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But there was no strength to holler. There was no strength to articulate that clearly. So I mumbled, just like this. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke, I'm crying, tears running, can't talk, but I'm doing what I can with what I got left. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. And every time I said it, I got stronger and I got more articulate. And next thing I know, I was getting louder. The strength was coming back into my body. And I, the, I was realizing, look at the power that's in the name of Jesus. But I'm angry at this demon and I'm scared. So I'm desperate. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the... And I'm screaming. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Now for the sake of my speakers and my microphone, I am really holding back. Because Grandmama Sita here, Grandma got a big mouth. I come from New York. I know how to holler. And when I got through hollering, now I'm on my flat, flat on my back, and I'm pushing this thing. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. My body had the strength, but I felt his weight, like he was physically there, and I pushed him off. Poof! He was gone. Gone. I still a bye bye. Gone, baby. Then I said, and I command you never to return. In the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord showed me how powerful the name of Jesus really was. He also showed me how weak I really was. There was no contest between me and a demon. But there's no contest between demon and Jesus. Jesus wins every time. You have to know what you have in your arsenal. Story number two, coming up. If you want to hear this, you will learn a lot. But you have to be willing to listen when you're not even sure if this stuff is real or not.